Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now May 6th of 2023 and we are just getting closer week by week until we get the Ahsoka Tano series that by the way was fully written by Dave Filoni with zero influence by Kathleen Kennedy and we still don't have an exact release date but Dave Filoni did say that they are pushing for either the middle or late portion of August to release this thing because they're still working on post-production and stuff around those lines. So there's a lot of work being poured into this and Dave Filoni is also gearing up for his Star Wars movie to really get that rolling but what's even all the more exciting has a lot to do with George Lucas. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support and let's get right into the subject. Now we know that for the longest time Kathleen Kennedy has been creating a lot of problems behind closed doors, a lot of issues related to the creative the creative process of you know the movies and the shows and the canon and how a lot of fans have just been really unhappy with her overall direction now recently Disney executives as well as CEO Bob Iger made and finalized quite a number of changes that's being put into full effect right now to really shift around Lucasfilm when it comes to the atmosphere and the workplace now, with John and Dave getting ready to develop many new Star Wars TV shows and films for the fans, recently Bob Iger, the Disney CEO, decided to finalize some great big changes for the audience. John of, of course, the most recent changes happening now over at Lucasfilm is that John and Dave is actually getting promotions at Lucasfilm and how they are finally being put into place by Bob Iger and many Disney executives that are going to actually provide John and Dave much control over at Lucasfilm. These privileges that are being given to them are described to be very significant to the point that they will be able to make the calls on how the upcoming movies and shows will be marketed as well as cast as well as casting choices and budgeting for a specific slate of Star Wars projects. This overall strategy by Disney is to essentially have John and Dave take over many portions of Lucasfilm. This promotion was given by, of course, the executives to John and Dave months ago, but has now been finally put into effect and that they are essentially taking over Lucasfilm in various aspects. Now the bigger picture as well, apart from this, is to make George Lucas the head of the story group by 2024, where George went, of course, won't be necessarily a president of Lucasfilm, but will have a lot of authority over the creative process and direction for the future slate of the movies and the shows. So let's just be very specific about all of this, is that basically what George Lucas is going to be accepting is that he is going to essentially be, become the head of Lucasfilm, not necessarily in the sense of being a president, but the head of the Lucasfilm story group. That's going to allow him to have a lot of creative control over many of the upcoming projects. He has already been working very hard with John and Dave on Mando Season 4 and Ahsoka and all these different projects that are being worked on simultaneously. And so that's exactly why Disney is giving him this offer and why he actually already accepted this offer. So we have a lot of things going on. We have John and Dave taking over many portions of the company, as well as George eventually taking over the story group, or becoming the head, if you will, of the story group. And we also know that John Favreau, we talked about this weeks ago, he has been given the offer to become the vice president of Lucasfilm. That he did not accept as of yet. And that may very well have a lot to do with the fact that he wants to just keep making Star Wars shows and eventually helping out Dave Filoni with his Star Wars movie. That's going to be, by the way, a gateway to a new trilogy. Keep your mind open about all of that. Uh, we know that Dave Filoni said just yesterday that his movie is about defining an era. All right, It's about creating a brand new era of Star Wars that we have never seen before in live action. And there's a lot of talk that it's going to be the live action adaptation of Heir to the Empire. So it's very, you know, highly suggested that you guys read up on that old Legends material to really get an idea of where Dave is going. Moving on. Now, on top of that, too, this is something that has been widely discussed by Disney executives as part of their plan to shift away from Kathleen Kennedy, regardless if she stays or not, depending on the offer to become the head of, of course, 
and the failure or the success of Indiana Jones 5. Lucas was already contacted about this offer to become the head of the story group for a couple of years now, and Lucas is said to have had full interest and took up this offer already, and that it will go into full effect next year to return, as of course the very sole creator of Star Wars and took up this offer that it will go into full effect in 2024 sometime around the holiday season to really turn Star Wars around for the entire fandom. So again, I mean, Kathleen Kennedy's fate at Lucasfilm, we've talked about this several times, it is highly, highly dependent on the success or failure of Indiana Jones 5. Now, prior to this, uh, it was all just about firing her this August, like flat out just getting rid of her. But then eventually Disney started getting a little scared. You know, the different executives were like, well, what if Indy 5 becomes a hit, like a huge hit, a big success, and then we fire her, it's going to make us look bad. That's why they're giving her this chance, so that they don't necessarily look bad. If it turns out to be a hit, they'll keep her. If it turns out to be a failure, they are going to decide on firing her by August. But the biggest skepticism that I have, that I'm a little worried about myself, is what is considered good or bad for Disney and for Indiana Jones 5 in their point of view? We know how it's going to be good or bad in our point of view, but what about Disney's point of view? That's the bigger picture here as well. So the next thing that I want to go over finally is that Lucas is described to be already helping out with John and Dave with Mando 4 and the Ahsoka series to bring the franchise back together and back to the basics. So again, I mean, the fact that Disney executives are now fully aware that there is this kind of backlash going on, that there is a fan division, and they just want to please fans, they want to keep fans happy and satisfied, just like Marvel fans. And you know what? It should have been done like that right from the get-go, you know? Marvel has all the source material in the world based on the comics and graphic novels, and seemingly Kathleen Kennedy just deliberately ignored all of the legend stuff out of Star Wars and kind of created her own spin on things. You know, let's just put things into perspective here. Finn in the sequel trilogy is literally portrayed by, of course, you know, uh, John Boyega, that character was actually based on a Legends character loosely called Finn Galfridian in the Legends content of Star Wars. So you can see where she gets all these ideas from and kind of just turns them into something completely different, just as a little example there. But we know that everything related now to what's going on with the future projects, Kathleen Kennedy has zero involvement, all right? So she only had a hand in Mando Season 3 because she actually was working on the script with them, but did not actually have any involvement during the filmmaking process. Of course, that's pointless because once the script is written, the damage is already done, but that was the common misconception of her not being involved with Mando season three. She wasn't involved by the time they began filming, but she was when they were still writing the script. So that dates back quite a while. So overall, you know, I would like to hear what everybody has to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.